So we're on a walk and Grayson decided he wanted to bring his lawnmower with him. So we're mowing the sidewalk today, aren't we? We're just along for the ride. Go ahead, Gray. <laughs> He's just so cute. I'll be showing him this Jack in the Box, which he thinks is pretty fun. Do you want to do the Jack in the Box? Ready? Yay! And Grayson and I are reading books. Grace, say hi. We are unfortunately feeling sick. Gray and Porter and me all have colds. I don't know, you could probably see, I probably need to wipe their noses again. Look at you standing. So I think we got these colds from a friend's house. We went and had a play date with our friends and they're, they have one child and he is like, five months older than Porter and five or four months and he goes to daycare because they both work and he was sick like a couple days before we came and he must have just either not gotten over it or it was all on his toys. I'll get your note. Unfortunately we think that he gave us his cold. So before that he had hand, foot, and mouth. So I don't think we have that because I looked up and it's like yeah fever. Which Gray did have a fever, but it's not runny nose or anything like that. So, it could be worse. I'm so not happy about it because, I mean, no one ever wants to get sick. Having sick kids is not very fun, especially young ones because they don't really understand. Sorry, I'm wiping Gray's nose. They don't really understand, like, what's going on, why they're sick. They hate getting their nose um, wiped. Had to turn on music for Porter. So, anyway, yeah. Unfortunately, we're feeling sick. Gray had it first. And he was pretty sad the other day and wouldn't eat, hardly would drink his milk, which is like unheard of, and was just whiny and sad. So we watched lots of TV. He's feeling a ton better. I think I think it was his throat first because I have the throat and I just am starting to get it. So I think the throat was first. And so I was able to give lots of medicine and then, um, it was like just one day of him being really sad and then the next day he was fine and so since then he's been fine it's been like three days so he's been fine but he still has a really runny nose so i'm always wiping his nose and then he's got a little bit of a cough now but at least he's like happy porter is like a day behind and so last night was really rough for him i did give him medicine which helped a lot and then I think he's just dealing with, a, I don't think babies really get sore throats, so I think he's just dealing with like a runny nose and just not feeling great. I started, my throat started to hurt last night, and so now today it's it's hurting. So I've been trying to take like Zycam, and you can even hear it in my voice. Um, I'm trying to take Zycam, and I've been taking ibuprofen and just stuff, because I just, I hate sore throats. I hate it. I just hate that feeling. So... We are on the mend, trying to get better. <laughs> Not getting better. Um, it's just really bad timing because tomorrow we have um, family pictures and I've been waiting all summer for this date and I'm not canceling it so we're just gonna do it and so I'm just hoping 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 that the boys are in a good mood it seems that with medicine Porter like it helps Porter a lot Gray doesn't want the medicine because he doesn't like the way it tastes and he's in a good mood anyway so as long as I can keep like the runny noses in check hopefully our pictures will turn out okay no more talk about sickness today is a very special day because today we are going to get Grayson's first ever backpack. So he's starting preschool in uh, about a month and they said he can have a backpack and we don't have backpacks. So we are gonna go um, in Ohio. I don't know if other states do this, but in Ohio, once a year, usually in August, they do what's called a tax-free weekend. Porter's stuck. 
they do a tax-free weekend and so you can go and buy things Friday to, to Sunday on this designated weekend and you don't have to pay taxes on them and it's like clothes, school supplies, just different stuff like that. So we waited until this weekend and then we are gonna go, my sister's gonna come with us and we're gonna pick out a backpack for Gray and he needs a water bottle. So I will definitely record that, but I'm sorry, this is so chaotic. <laughs> They're just unhappy or singing. You dancing, Porter? Dancing. putting them in the oven. You guys, I am so disappointed in Target. We went to Target and there were no backpacks left. They were all picked over. And so I am so disappointed. I knew I shouldn't have waited for tax free weekend. I knew it was gonna be all picked over and it was. And then, so then we ran to Meyer really fast to see if maybe Meyer had better luck. And Meyer did have a lot more backpacks, but none of them were cute or what I was looking for. So I'm gonna have to end up going online and just ordering a backpack online, which is so sad because I'm not gonna get the tax free from Ohio. And it's just not gonna be as fun. Like I'm gonna have to wait for it to come in the mail and then I can take a picture of Grayson with his backpack, so. Such a fail, I'm so disappointed about it. We did get him a water bottle, um, a little dinosaur one. I'd have to make sure that he can like open and close it himself because I won't be there to do it for him. But I'm just so disappointed in the backpacks. Like even the school supplies were really picked over. So thankfully we weren't like going through all of that, but I'm just so sad. I feel like, in the future, I'm just gonna have to like avoid tax for the weekend or go like Friday when everyone's working before it's all picked over because I was so disappointed in that. So I'm sorry that I did not vlog it because there was nothing to vlog and we didn't get anything. I mean, we got some stuff, but it wasn't a backpack. We did get the water bottle though. So now we're making muffins and then we're gonna get take a bath to prepare for family pictures tomorrow, so. I'm just so bummed. Gosh darn you, Target. I don't know what it is, and let me know if you agree with me, but I feel like ever since the pandemic and COVID happened, all the stores, or especially Target, has had like limited inventory for like seasonal decor, school supplies, you name it. Like they just don't get their like usual inventory in. And so, it's true. just de depressed about it. No, it's absolutely true. Everything's being held up in China right now. Maybe. Anthony would know. He works for Bath and Body Works. Right now we can't get anything in our store because it's all held up in China. Yeah. So that so. would make sense. So maybe it's not Target not ordering enough. It's just Target literally can't get enough. Turns out when nobody goes to work, things don't get built. Are people not going to work in China? Uh, I mean, if they get sick and die, then no. Well, yeah, obviously. But like people here in America are like just not working. Yeah, but I mean, it, it's causing issues for everywhere. Like, if you have somebody who's just not able to go and do something, you, just, you can't. It's not just us. Yeah, so I'm disappointed. I'm really disappointed. But anyway, uh, once I pick out, I, I'm gonna go shopping online after I put the boys to bed and I can actually like sit and think. I try to get on my laptop now, but the boys are climbing all over me and that's just a recipe for disaster. So I'm gonna wait till tonight to look online and then once I find one I'll let you guys know what I end up finding. I just don't know what I want to go with. Like do I want to do like dinosaur, shark, like I don't know what I want to do. I'm not really into the characters. Like I've seen Paw Patrol, I've seen Blue's Clues, but I, I don't know that I really want to do that. So I think I'm going to go with like more of like an animal or something like that. 
I also read um, a meme or maybe it was an article or something and it said that you should not get backpacks with your kid's name on them. I had those when I was a kid. I had it with my name and I also had it with my initials. But they said to not do that because if a predator wants to try to get your kid, they'll see their name on their backpack and so then they'll call them by their name and then the kid thinks that like they're someone who knows them because they know their name. And so, yeah, I saw that. So I thought that was really interesting. Um, so I won't personalize it. But I know there are backpacks out there where you can do that.